All right, some brand new polls today that show that football fans are not really phased by all of these NFL scandals. According to an NBC Marist poll, 86% of fans say that these scandals have not stopped them from watching the games, with a small number, just 11%, saying that they are now less likely to watch. Guy Benson is a political editor at townhall.com. Leslie Marshall's a syndicated radio talk show host. Both are Fox News contributors. Guy, is this surprising to you? Not really, Martha. Look, I did a little bit of moral calculus on my couch last night. I was sitting there thinking, all right, it's Thursday night, so CBS has their new NFL telecast, and ESPN has their college game. I ended up watching the college game because it was a better matchup, and I'm more of a college fan personally. But I had that flickering moment of wondering, were my choices being impacted by the ugliness that has enveloped the NFL the last few weeks? And if I have to be honest with myself, the answer is no. When you look at the polling, I'm definitely among the majority. I disapprove of the way the league has handled this stuff, especially with Ray Rice. But that has not impacted or altered my consumption choices vis-a-vis -vis watching the games, at least not yet. Interesting. Let's take a look at the national poll uh, of just adults, not specifically football fans. And the numbers are surprisingly the same. It hasn't changed. 85% say none of this impacts their feeling of affection or attention or interest in the NFL at all. Leslie, what do you make of it? Well, Guy, if you were my husband, you'd be sleeping on that couch you were watching football on <laughs> for that choice. And it's sad that these uh, these numbers show this, although, uh, you know what, I am not surprised, but I'm very saddened by this. You know, this is a problem not just in the NFL. I mean, when we look at the statistics with uh, domestic violence, we're talking about every nine seconds somebody is the victim uh, of brutality, of abuse, and there's no excuse for abuse in or outside of the NFL. The problem is deep-rooted, and we are enabling this behavior and saying, hey, we give you a pass if these numbers don't come down. Both men and women need to be more responsible in their choices of, of what they're watching or of products they're buying uh, with regard to the behavior of individuals. We're not just talking about a man who slapped his now wife, punched her in the face. We're also talking about a man who's been indicted for abusing a child. Uh, where is our moral compass? Yeah. I, I Hang mean, on, it, though. It, it, I, I just have to say, I don't think it's fair. Of course I don't condone domestic violence. I don't think that there's a straight line between saying, uh, you know, I dislike NFL violence and then the stuff that's happening in people's homes and saying, well, if you're going to still watch the games, then you are somehow supporting, you know, crimes. I don't think that that's fair. And I think most Americans, the vast majority of Americans disagree with that, with that sort of assertion that you just yeah. made. You know, I mean, it, maybe uh, I'm cynical, but you look at this and you see what the advertisers have done. Some of them have sort of, you know, made a big fuss but they haven't actually gone anywhere, right? They're saying that they want the NFL to be more responsible about this. You have this sort of herky-jerky motion on the part of the NFL. You're suspended. You're not suspended. You're suspended. You're, you're, you're going to be on the bench. You're going to be out for this many games. Uh, and I think people look at it and, and, uh, and just realize, Leslie, that, this is, that they're testing exactly what they're seeing in these polls. Will it or will it not make a difference in our bottom line? They have a goal of reaching $27, $25 billion by 2027. Uh, and as the numbers go, they want to see if that's gonna, this is going to impact it. Oh, I agree with you 100 percent. I, I mean, we, we see that, you know, uh, Rice suspended for a couple of games, then there's outrage and then it goes more. And, uh, you know, it becomes like they, they, they raise the bar or they change uh, the bar and the level of tolerance in the NFL with regard to this uh, based on public reaction. But when they don't see ticket sales go down, when they don't see sponsors pull out, when they don't see the dollars stop flowing in, they're not going to do a darn thing about it. And they know it's going to leave uh, the front page uh, regarding the news. And, and also, I have to say, uh, Guy, it, it's not like the guys here I'm picking on. I'm actually uh, more surprised at the women. There are women that have been sporting Rice jerseys. What what kind of a statement are we making? And well, I'm that's, certainly not that's saying terrible. that you or anybody out there is. is, is I'm, not, I'm not saying that you or anybody out there is supporting or condoning. No, I mean, look uh, at the I, I, I don't understand that. No, I don't, I, I don't understand that. I don't understand any woman who is wearing a rice jersey and saying that. Yeah, I, I mean, he, did, did they not watch what he did to his wife in the elevator? I mean, I, I, I worry that this 85 percent number reflects that there are many Americans out there who say, you know what, this stuff happens. I'm OK with well, it. And, Martha, and that I find very yes. scary. What's interesting about it's this poll in shocking. particular is men are more likely to disapprove of the NFL's handling of mm -hmm. this than women. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's crazy. Shocking. All right, you guys, we got to go. Obviously, we could talk much more about this, uh, and we will in the future. Guy, thank you. Leslie, thank you. Thank you.